Welcome to session three of gas welding. In this session, we're going to discuss tip selection, choosing the right tip for the particular thickness of metal that we're working with, selecting a tip that will handle the heat involved, and actually create a cone or, or welding heat source that will work with the particular metal that we've chosen. We'll also discuss some general principles around the use of the rosebud in terms of pressures, gas pressures, and uh, touch on the correct pressures for these tips. I've set up a display that illustrates the four size coupons that we will be using in the welding gas projects and sessions. And I will illustrate which tip is correct for each of these metal gauge types. The most common error is to use too large a tip. Uh, this would be an example. The 10 gauge measures in thickness around 128 thousandths of an inch. This is hot rolled, so you might have some variance on the thickness, but it's approximately an eighth of an inch. And for 10 gauge, many people would assume that you're going to use this large tip because we're at almost an eighth of an inch when in fact this larger tip, and this is a Victor, V4 tip. This would be the tip appropriate for quarter inch steel. In this case, at an eighth inch, we'll use a smaller tip than that. And this is a Victor V2 with a correct size orifice. And these orifice sizes are critical when we clean the tips. We want to make sure that we don't increase the size of that orifice. Since we actually have only three tips here, the 101 thousandths thickness that we're measuring on the 12 gauge can actually be handled with this V2 tip as well. The V2 tip has a drill size uh, orifice of around 46 thousandths of an inch. So that 46 thousandths uh, will handle both of these metal types. And uh, so that's a good choice of tip for both the 10 gauge and the 12 gauge. When we move down to 14 gauge, which I have measured at around 75 thousandths, again, this is hot rolled and may not be completely accurate and the 16 gauge at around 68 thousandths. In this case we're going to use the same tip for both of those but this is a Victor Zero tip and the Zero tip is around 35 thousandths of an inch at the orifice. Again in the typical welding kit uh, Victor always includes the V4 and the V4 which is actually uh, this larger tip that we understood was too big for any of these pieces the V4 is 73 thousandths of an inch orifice size and uh, will actually work with different pressures than either of these other tips. The rosebud is interesting in that it says right on it, oxyacetylene multi-flame heating assembly. Set the pressure equally and that would be 8 psi oxygen and 8 psi acetylene. And that's the rosebud that we use to heat metals, to preheat when we're doing cast iron welding, and uh, processes that require preheat or if we're just trying to thaw things out that happen to be uh, either frozen or need some attention in terms of heat. And that would include things like uh, Loctite 271. We can use the rosebud for that. Another common problem with tip selection and actual welding process is the PSI or pressure of the gas. And a uh, mistake in most cases is to use too much gas pressure for the lighter welding tasks. For example, on both of these plates, the 14 and 16 gauge, the pressure set for the Victor Ott or Zero tip is actually 3 psi on the oxygen side and 3 psi on the acetylene side. Those are very low pressures. And that's ample for welding this size plate using the V Zero tip. When we step up to eighth inch and the 12 gauge at 101 thousandths, we're looking at a pressure setting of 4 psi on the oxygen and 4 psi on the acetylene, also low pressures. When we get into quarter inch welding, just as a point of reference with a number four tip, that's Victor's designation, 73 thousandths of an inch, orifice or drill size, 3 sixteenths to quarter inch thickness metal, is only operated at 4 psi for oxygen and 4 psi for acetylene. I will furnish a common chart of uh, drill size orifices, tip sizes for different metal thicknesses, and the actual gas pressures for the tip at those particular size welding tasks in the article accompanying this HD video. Go to the website and you'll find that information in chart form.